Kansas is known nationwide for its big bucks and great deer hunting. Firearm season is currently underway until December 13th. Hunters should be aware that chronic wasting disease, or CWD, has found its way into the northwestern corner of the state, and though the chance of encountering an infected deer is very remote, Kansas Wildlife and Parks is interested in testing a large sample of deer taken statewide during the current hunting season. Only 14 wild deer have tested positive for CWD since it was first found in Cheyenne County in 2005. This strange disease develops slowly in an infected animal, finally resulting in death. It spreads directly from animal to animal through saliva and other bodily secretions, making bait stations and water guzzlers prime infection sites. There is no evidence that CWD can spread from deer or elk to humans or livestock, but precautions are in order. First, avoid wild animals that appear to be sick. Wear rubber gloves when field dressing game and avoid eating tissues and organs other than muscle. Wash and disinfect hands in all processing areas when butchering your own venison. If possible, drop your dead deer off at a CWD testing facility found in many Kansas towns. This service is free and easy and it helps track the possible spread of CWD in Kansas. The Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks website lists locations for free testing sites. Lymph nodes taken from between the deer's eye and ear, as well as teeth for aging, are sent to Kansas State University for evaluation, so you'll not know the outcome of your tested deer unless it turns out positive. In that case, you'll be notified. Samples call for brief information such as hunter contact info and where the deer was shot. Kansas Wildlife and Parks hopes to get sample information on approximately 3,000 deer statewide. More information about CWD and testing can be found in the 2009 Kansas Hunting and Fur Harvesting Regulation Summary. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.